Did you ever stop and think Why spend too much time just getting ready Let me be honest I don't know a single thing That I haven't done to make you notice me Let me be real here When I see you my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking All of the time when you're around me But this time, this time It's Brianna Kay. You might also know me as Bits of Brie. Welcome to today's video that is a clean with me and disinfect with me because those are two different things. If you don't know, cleaning means to wipe away germs off of a surface and disinfecting means to actually kill the germs that are sitting on the surface. And oftentimes people don't realize that you actually have to do both if you really want to prevent the spread of illnesses, which is what this video is intended to do to help you because I know with all the current events going on right now, I just want you to stay calm and feel in control of this situation and actually feel like what you do is going to make a difference because this will. I'm gonna show you all of the right ways to clean and disinfect your home, objects that you use, and just be able to stop spreading germs and try to stop the spread of the illness that is going on right now. So I'm here for you, I love you, I'm praying for you all around the world and I hope that this video helps you today but let's get going. I have so much I wanna clean and disinfect and I've got really good tips for you when it comes to cleaning and disinfecting your home to prevent the spread of illness. So the key to truly disinfecting your home is clean first, disinfect second. So use a multi-surface cleaner or soap first, and then a disinfectant like Lysol, Clorox, bleach, rubbing alcohol, peroxide. Make sure you read the labels on all of your cleaners and never mix bleach with other cleaners, only with water. So the CDC says viruses may last hours to days on surfaces and clothing. So first thing you should consider is how you come into your home. Since many people do not have a choice and have to go to work, they work in healthcare, need to run to the store for essentials for their families right now. So instead of walking in the house and taking off your shoes and jacket and letting them touch other surfaces in your home, set up a disinfecting station right at your front door. Use a Lysol or Clorox wipe, wipe off the bottoms and all around your shoes, wipe off your purse, your cell phone, sunglasses, anything that you've touched with your hands that could be carrying a virus before you set it down in your home. Then wash your hands for at least 30 seconds, scrubbing thoroughly with warm water and soap whenever you come in from outside or whenever you've come into contact with anything or anyone that might be carrying a virus. And if you're wearing a coat, take it off, wash it along with washing the clothing that you wore. I recommend washing clothing with bleach or Lysol laundry sanitizer and wash your clothes on the highest temperature setting to kill germs. So I would recommend having either Lysol or Clorox wipes right by your front door so that you can be wiping your shoes and I got these plastic bins at the Dollar Tree and the reason I like these better than something woven or fabric is it's so easy then just to be able to put bleach in this and disinfect it as well. And one thing I would recommend that I'm not going to do because I didn't actually leave my house, I just filmed it like that for the purposes of this video to demonstrate, but if you do go out in public and especially if you're in a place where you were exposed to an illness, change your clothes right away when you get home and get that laundry right into the washing machine. That way you can prevent the illness from sitting in a laundry hamper at length and potentially spreading the illness even further because that's the worst thing possible for germs just to sit in a damp place where then they can spread and grow. So I know it might seem a little bit extreme, but I guarantee you 
those of you watching who work in healthcare, who have a family member who works in healthcare, you probably already see that they do this before they come into your home because it's not to be extreme, it's not to be crazy, it's to be smart and safe to ensure that any sort of germs that either could be on your clothing or could be on your shoes aren't carried and spread around the rest of your home. It's also not a bad idea to shower or bathe before you put on clean clothes if you have been out in public or in an area where you could have been exposed to anything. So here's a little hand washing trick I learned from my best friend. Her blog is ABCD Learning. You draw a little star with a pen on your kiddo's hands to make sure that they know the proper time that they need to wash their hands. There you go. Thank you. All right, now wash your hands, and you have to know if you washed good enough because the star will be rinsed off. Okay. Can I get some soap on? Oh, you have to get soap for sure. I can't you get really you out of my mind. Really good. I will follow you wherever. No, see, you gotta keep yeah, I won't waste it. Oh, you know, what do you think? I'll follow you. All clean. <gasps> All clean. Good uh, job. I, I, I won that one. I won it. Thank you, Auntie Dina. Yeah, that was Auntie Dina's idea. That was a good idea. And I know she's also sharing a ton of learning activity ideas in case you are out of school and cooped up inside like we're going to be. Did you just raise your hand? You're such a good student. What would you like to say? Nothing. <laughs> Do you want to say something? When it comes to the bathroom, this should be disinfected after every use if you or anyone in your home has an illness, has been out in public, or after any guest is in your home. And then here is what I'm going to be using for cleaning the toilet. I'm gonna to wear disposable gloves. I'm gonna use Clorox disinfecting wipes, and I'm gonna use the Clorox toilet wand. And I got a huge pack of refills because the great thing about these even though I'm gonna use them in the toilet, they are still amazing for disinfecting things like your sinks or your tubs or your showers. So if there were supplies like that were run out at your stores, you can oftentimes substitute other products to still do the job. The one thing I would just note about any sort of disinfectant is read the directions because I never flush the toilet after I do this because it needs to sit for, I think it says it on here, 10 minutes, I believe, for it to truly disinfect your toilet bowl. And make sure you're disinfecting all around the sink, the faucet handles, the sink bowl, the countertop, so that they are free of germs. Don't forget to also disinfect doorknobs, light switches. I'm using Clorox wipes, but you could also use an at-home bleach solution to disinfect any high-touch hard surface areas. Make sure you're wearing gloves when disinfecting or cleaning up after anyone in your home who has a virus. Make sure that when you dispose of your gloves, do not touch the outside of them when you pull them off and ensure that you still always wash your hands after cleaning anything. If you are looking to make a bleach cleaner at home, it is so simple and it honestly does not require much bleach at all. Like I have this that I've had on hand for doing laundry. You just need a quarter teaspoon, literally a quarter teaspoon for two cups of water. And I love these glass bottles. That's how I make my vinegar multi-surface cleaner at home. These are on Amazon and they hold just like a little over two cups, not quite two and a half though. So I'm just going to add in these two cups of water. And then again, I do not need much bleach at all, just a quarter teaspoon for this cleaner. And that is how you make your own homemade bleach cleaner. And then for cleaning my table and kitchen countertops, I'm gonna use my vinegar multi-surface cleaner that I make with just a couple of drops of essential oils. But to actually disinfect, this is where reading the label is so important. I'm gonna use this Lysol all-purpose cleaner and it does recommend to first clean the surface on the back 
and it says if you leave this for 10 seconds, it sanitizes, but it needs to be left for two minutes before you wipe it to truly disinfect. So make sure you're reading the labels. It's what you do. Okay, so when it comes to cleaning your electronic devices, which honestly, I've read studies and this is where the most germs are. Because think about it, your hands are touching them, stuff gets inside buttons, your phone you're touching, it's by your face. You take it into the bathroom, with, let's just be honest, it's really, really gross. So the same method here as everything else, you have to clean it first before you actually then disinfect it. So here are those Windex electronic wipes. Clorox disinfecting wipes, and I'm gonna use Q-tips then to get into all the crevices. And just in case you have a rather dusty computer, because I feel like that always seems to happen after I have my computers or laptops for some time, you can always put one of these bristle brush, like soft brush attachments onto your vacuum, or if you have a vacuum that has like an attached hose, put the soft bristle one and it actually will get all of them that dust that's either in the crevices of the keyboard or sometimes like within the fold, it will suck all of that right up. And I'm just gonna take the Q-tip and like wrap the wipe around the Q-tip and then this way it's super easy to clean right inside all of the buttons. And now that those electronics are cleaned, I'm going to use the Clorox disinfecting wipes to actually disinfect them. Another thing you should do is open the windows, even if it's cold, let that stale air out, get some fresh air into your home. Also change pillowcases daily because that's where your face has been touching and wash your sheets every few days or as often as needed. If someone in your home is sick, do it daily. Wash and replace your hand towels and face towels daily as well. Always wash those with bleach and on the highest temperature wash setting. Also just try to avoid using hampers. If you've used them, wash them out. If they're a hard surface, wipe them with a Clorox wipe or bleach or use antibacterial fabric spray to keep your hamper clean. Also make sure you're washing out your trash bins with bleach or Lysol to also disinfect those. And if you have kiddos who are sick, Wash their stuffed animals in blankets, also on the highest temperature setting with the Lysol laundry sanitizer or bleach to kill any germs that might be on them. When it comes to your floors, I love using my Bissell Steam Mop. I don't need any products, but the high temperature steam kills germs and bacteria on the floor. I will link mine, but if you do not currently have a steam mop, make sure you read the Lysol instructions for floor areas that are contaminated. Our bottle says to leave it sitting for six minutes to truly disinfect before mopping. And please check out the CDC website for all cleaners that are approved to kill certain viruses that you may be especially concerned about at this time. So I'm gonna use these automotive wipes to clean, and then I'm gonna use the disinfecting wipes to actually disinfect in the car. If you are a family member who is sick was driving, make sure you always disinfect your car. Get the steering wheel, door handles, seat belts, and all of the buttons and knobs they may have touched. 
but keep informing yourself, keep on cleaning, and just know that I am here for you always, whether it is on Instagram or here on YouTube. We're all in this together and we're going to get through this crazy time. There you have it. Those are all of my tips for how to clean, how to sanitize, how to disinfect. I hope that this video helps you and just know that I am sending you so much love. I'm giving you a huge virtual hug. I hope that the only thing you have to do is clean and sanitize and disinfect your home and that you don't have to do this because somebody you love comes down with anything. But just know I'm praying for you. This community is here to support you. And if there is anybody who has a way to help other people in need, please let me know if there's any way that this community can help support you, whether it's prayers or a way that we can send money to. I know there's so many kids who rely on their breakfast and lunches coming from school who are not gonna be getting that over the next couple weeks or months. So please let me know if there is a way to help in the comments and the way that this community can support. And just know I love you, I'm praying for you, and I'm here for you, okay? So I will see you in my next video. Bye, loves. Are you praying for everybody? Stay healthy. Huh? Yeah, you can touch it. It's just a scar. Mm. Tell everybody though. We pray for them every night, right? Every night. You pray people stay healthy. <laughs> no press. <laughs> Let me do that. Let no, me. you cannot put your mouth on it. Leanne and Brian. <laughs> Proudly gang, no, no, no. no. <laughs> Remember, you put your face in water, but I'm not. Can you see my face?